Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time. Uh, you know, um, YouTube suggests to me sometimes some videos. And this one is uh, translated in Arabic. And what is funny is the first thing you notice if you speak Arabic, that the translation have nothing to do with the conversation as usual. I mean, I'm not surprised. The guy, he says something, the translation says something else. And they add words and they add sentence. But anyway, this Abdul here, you see, when a Muslim, he try to make us believe that his God is the same God of the Bible. Don't you ask yourself why they are desperate to do so? You know, in the Middle East, if somebody have no honor, he tried to find an honor. So what he do? He tried to attach himself to a family they don't even know about him. He say, oh, those are my cousins. Oh, this is a, he's a far uncle of my family, but they have nothing to do with him. Why? Because he have no honor. And the Muslim, they are following a God with no honor. And because they are following a God with no honor, they are trying to rip the face of their God with the shoes of Jesus. Otherwise, a person who believe in a God, whoever that God is, why you need to say to the Christian, oh, this is the same God. I mean, the Christian believe that God is the Father, God is the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and then you, you chase them to say, my God is the same as your God, because you have no honor. So the first thing you notice that when they do that, because they, are, they have a God who have no honor, so they try to cleanse their God by attaching their God to our God. But that will not work. A person who is proud about his God, he do not need the God of the Christians anyway. But because they are desperately trying to find a place for their God within our book. But here today we are going to show and spank this guy and show you how stupid their claim is. First, they claim that they speak languages. In the fact, they don't know even their, they don't even know how to say their prophet name correctly. They don't know how to say their God name correctly. And then they go in the street and they speak to Christian who do not know Arabic or Hebrew, etc. And they claim that they are this, and they speak Aramaic supposedly. Listen carefully and let us laugh. I'm not going to play the video out of it. You can watch it if you want. What was the name? Sorry, what is the name of God? Or oh, how did Jesus refer to God? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You tell me how he referred to. You said Father. You said God. You said all these things. Yeah. Yes? The question is this. Yeah. What is the term for God in Aramaic? Just to show you how stupid it is. He just said, he agreed, that the Christian, they refer to God as Father, as Son. So how that can be have to do anything with your God? Do you Muslim believe that God is Father? He just said, how Jesus, he referred to God. Do you see how stupid they are? You just said Father, you just said Son. Is that anything to do with your God? No. Do you Muslim believe there's Father and Son? No. So whatever Jesus referred to, obviously have nothing to do with your God, you idiot. So from that question, actually, the answer is there. But the Christians usually who go and debate Muslims are not really uh, well versed. And they don't know what to say. They are not did not practice too much debating Muslims. Watch my videos, please, before you speak to those Abdul. So you can do what they deserve. You can give them what they deserve. So the first thing you do for them, you say, you just said, you idiot. Jesus referred to father and son. Obviously, whatever Jesus referring to have nothing to do with your God. Because your God, he said, he have no son. Therefore, he is no father. So when you stupid, you come into me saying, what Jesus referred to? And then the question itself had the answer. Let us continue. Let's see if any Christians will know this, I know. including the hacklers. You know. You know. Now they won't talk. <laughs> they all shut up now. Are you going to say Allah? No, I'm not going to say Allah. They all shut up now. You know, listen, listen. Anyone who knows this kid, I challenge him. I challenge him to dare to let me call him. Don't call me. I will call you. Whoever know this kid, say to him, Christian Prince, he's saying to you, if you are a man, not a kid, do you dare to let Christian Prince call you? Do you? You are just a kid. And the spanking is coming for kids. Hold on, hold on. Say hello. Say hello and get Come on. 
Why are you looking? Are you googling it? Hold on. Okay. By the way, in, in, in Aramaic, the term for God Almighty is Allah. In Aramaic, by the way, the term for God Almighty is Allah. <laughs> But you stupid idiot, I'm not going to discuss the Aramaic now with you. But you just said the term for God. So it's not a name, right? But Allah for you is a name. So again, you are certified idiot. Because there's a huge difference between somebody using a word as God and somebody using a word as name. So you Muslim, do you believe that Allah is a word, is a, mean God or a word is a name? All Muslims believe that this is the name of Allah. If we go to the Aramaic, you eat the donkey, who says Allah. Actually, let me play more before we continue. Okay. They answered him right away. They said, this is not a name. This is a word mean God. But even he caught, he's quoting the name wrong. I mean, the word wrongly. I said the term for God. I didn't say name. Exactly. He said the term for God. I did not say the name. But Allah for you is a name, you idiot. And if I go with him, Aloha is the same as Allah. Aloha, Allah. <laughs> Allah. So these guys who are barking in the back don't even understand English. Exactly, brother. Brother and sister, they don't know English. I don't speak Arabic. And I'm going to get them busted. Continue. Okay, so now the term, the term Allah. And Allah, are they similar? Allah, check him on that. Are they similar? The no, they are not, because Allah for you is not a word mean God. Secondly, if we go to the Aramaic, you idiot. We will find this. Everybody will see. Here we go. This is the word God. Allah aha. Allah aha. How in the world this is Allah? And this is Allah. And it's not even a name. It's just a word meaning God. Allah Oha. How is how it is similar for you? Now we have to admit that Islam as a pagan religion stealing the name of Allah from other belief and from other languages. So now soon we are going to go deeper in this. And we will find where the word Allah is coming from. But we will go back to the video. Continue, Abdul. Are they similar? There you go. Arrest my case. Oh, yeah. Hakla has been destroyed again. What's your point? Destroyed. No, they are not similar. They are not. You are a, you are a fraud. They are not similar. Allah is a name. What's your point? Uh, my point is, is your point. My point is you going. My point is that Allah and Allah are similar. Do you agree? No. And same it's same in same time is not Allah potato. No. Allah, are you going from uh, uh, Hawaii? No way. No way. You're blaspheming. <laughs> you see what I mean by the kryptonite against these guys? Uh, see how uh, see how it puts them in agony? Uh, it puts them in agony. Uh, no, my friend, the one who go to, the one who will go to hellfire is you. According to the Quran, wa minkum wa Every Muslim bomb is going to be burned in the hell of Allah. This is what the Quran is saying. Wa ma minkum illa waridwa. Now let us see who his his bomb will be in the fire in a few minutes. When you pretend to when know Jesus the Bible, himself you know uses the terminology, yeah. they don't when want to When you think you know the Bible, but you don't know, 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 know the Bible. Yeah. Come on, yeah, what's the point of having I want to finish this up. Because you got the accent. Yeah, I know. But you have been quiet for so long. What's the point of trying to prove? I was trying to prove to you that. Oh, you're going by the by the scholars. You brought up the translation no, no, no. from the scholars. But I, I don't, I don't go into the scholars. But I'm just saying. But you did. You just bring it. Well, you use them, so I can use them. To okay. Use them to okay. Them. So you are agreeing with my so, methodology. So no, I don't. We don't agree with you. You don't. You don't have methodology. You're a donkey. That's good. Theos, yeah. The Jews will laugh at what, you. What is the point of me? I'm saying. I'm saying in Aramaic, that. not the one in in Greek. What? Not the one in the Greek. In Aramaic. What in Aramaic? Okay, tell us what in Aramaic. The Aramaic, the Aramaic, because Jesus did not speak Greek, there's no evidence for that. How do you know? Jesus, you don't speak a Greek. 
I will show you the evidence that he spoke Greek, stupid idiot. Your Allah says that. You are a stupid like your prophet. If we go right now in the Quran, we will find this. If we ask the Muslim, what is the name of the book of Jesus in the Quran, they will say Injil. You eat the donkey, this is a Greek. So if Jesus is not speaking Greek, then how the stupid Allah, he named the book of Jesus in Greek. I will give you three options. Allah is confused like you. He's a YouTuber. He don't know what he's talking about. Allah is an idiot. He made a mistake. He thought the word Injil is a Hebrew word. Or Allah is a certified mule who say things he don't mean. Choose one. The word gospel here is Injil. Let us change the translator. And anyone can go right now and search for the word Injil and you will find that this is a very pure Greek word. Hmm? Where is the word Injil here? Here we go. Do you see it? Injil. Those who go in the street, what people call them? Hmm? Those who carry the Bible in their hand? They evangelize to people? This is a Greek word. So you are a stupid idiot. You just prove to us that your prophet is a stupid. Your Muslims do not know what you are reading in your book. And you are challenging him to show you where it says, where, how. Jesus, he spoke in Greek. So you are saying that the Quran is a stupid of lies, a book of lies. And here, by the way, we have a special contradiction for the stupid Abduls. If Jesus' book is named is in a Greek, or a Greek, what is inside the book? Is it a Greek too? If it's not, that's stupid thing. If it is a Greek, that's stupid too according to Islam. Why? Because the Quran says, Allah, he never sent a book except in the language and the prophet except in the language and the tongue of his people. So, if the, if the, if the cover of the book, the title is in a Greek, and yet those people don't speak a Greek, that's mean Allah, he spoke to Jesus in a Greek. He said to Jesus, hey, Jesus, I'm going to give you Injil. Uh, Jesus, he said, what does Injil mean? He said, it's a Greek word, for I am a Greek God. Do you see how it's stupid? But the verse in the front of us saying, Allah supposed to saying, we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people in order to make things clear to them. How saying the word Injil will make it clear to the Hebrew? If Jesus don't speak a Greek himself, what if somebody asks him, hey Jesus, what the, what the word Injil mean? He will say to them, oh sorry, I don't speak a Greek. <laughs> you just said he don't speak a Greek. Okay, we will go with that. So if somebody asks Jesus, hey Jesus, the Muslim Jesus, what the word Injil mean? Huh? Uh, Alpha and Omega, please don't. There is no need to repeat the same question and flood. Uh, uh, admins, anyone he flood the text, block him. I mean, maybe temporarily. There is no need to flood the text, my friend. The, the text, my friend. You are a Christian or a Muslim? Just post it once, twice. That's it. Come on. So, if somebody asks Jesus, "Hey Jesus, what the word in Jin mean?" So what Jesus will say? He will say to them, it's a Greek word, I do not know what I'm saying. The word Injil, hey guys, what the word Injil mean? Somebody tell me. What the word Injil mean? Anybody can tell me in the chat? I will wait to see what people will say. The word Injil have a special meaning. The same as the word Gospel. So if the word meaning have nothing to do with the language is inside the book. That is the most stupid statement ever. So, Jesus, you are giving us Injil. What Injil mean? 
uh, it's Injil. Okay, what Injil mean? Uh, yeah, you know, Injil. Okay, well, hold on, but you have to tell us what Injil mean. This, we're talking about the Muslim Jesus now. His name is Isa. Even the name Isa is weird, it's stupid. I mean, where is this name Isa is coming from? Muhammad, he thought that Isa or Isa is the, the, the son of Miriam, which is the sister of Aaron, is the same one as Jesus. So Isa, hey Isa, what the word Injil mean? Uh, you know, uh, let me uh, ask uh, 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 Alexa, what Isa mean? Uh, sorry, what Injil mean? <laughs> so here the Quran confirmed that Allah he never sent the book unless it is in the book of the language and the tongue of the people and he have to be from the people. So if Jesus is speaking a Greek language, and this is the title of his book. He have to be sent to the Greek, and he have to be a Greek person. That's what the verse is saying. Read it. It's not me saying that. And the verse is saying clearly why, in order to make it clear for them. So you are an idiot who deny that Jesus he speak Greek, and you are challenging the Christian to show you where Jesus is speak Greek, but yet your stupid Quran saying that Allah he gave Jesus a book. It's called Injil. Shall we continue spanking? Let us continue. Poor Abdul. He fell in my hands. This is Abdul before I heard about him. He is laughing. Abdul, after he watched my video, he will not be laughing. Also, sorry? For Hebrew also. Show me so the you cannot choose. But you brought up Greek. You didn't bring up Hebrew. Nice try. Anyway, I think we <laughs> You stupid donkey. You stupid donkey, son of potato. Don't you know that even the Old Testament, a great part of it is written. Great part of the Old Testament is written in two I mean, two languages, which means that the, the Hebrew people already speak languages. They speak Aramaic and they speak Hebrew, and the one is occupying them is the Roman. You stupid donkey, when the king of the Roman, he asked Jesus. When the king of the Roman, he asked the rabbi. Do you think the king of the Roman, he is going to speak Hebrew? They are occupied. I mean, do you see how stupid those people are? Who is the one who is occupying the Jews? The Roman. What the Quran says that the Roman occupying the Jews. Even the Quran mentioned that, he says, who's him at a room? There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the Roman. Where was the Roman, which the Quran is speaking about? They are in Jerusalem, you idiot. Those are the ones who want to debate us. I mean, go take them, feed them, give them some protein, some vitamin, some like a camel urine. The Roman Empire has been defeated. The Muslims, they say this has happened in, 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 a, in a certain area in the Dead Sea. So who was there? The Roman. So the Roman are occupying this land for hundreds of years, and yet the Jews don't speak the language of the Roman. And the Roman leader, he was speaking to Jesus, and yet Jesus, he, he said to him, please talk to me only in Hebrew, I understand only Hebrew. And the Roman leader, the king, he was speaking to the, you know, what's, what's wrong with those people? Shall I show you the message your prophet, he sent to the king of the Roman in there? <laughs> Certified donkeys. Let us continue. We should wrap it up a bit because at the end of the day, Jesus, Jesus mentioned God as Allah. Where you Where Jesus he mentioned God as Allah, and what Allah have to do with Allah? I I think I I, I skip a part because he mentioned. Uh, 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 Eli, you know, let me see where he mentioned that. Oh, hold on. 
because you want to get him busted there too. I'm not sure which minute. When uh, Christ was speaking, in the, Psalm, the Pharisees asked uh, Christ. Are you talking about Psalm? Yes. Psalm is not the voice of Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Psalm 119, yeah. he did the Hebrew when he met, alphabet. When he met, when he met, when he met, when he what is the point of that? He did the letters. When, when, when Jesus was speaking, and the Pharisees asked him, you're not 12 years old yet, how do you know your letters? They were speaking, they were talking about Hebrew. So what's the point you're making? He spoke Hebrew. That's my point. I didn't say he did not speak Hebrew at all. I'm saying his language was Aramaic. And this is the scholars who have told us this, not the Christians. The reason you don't follow a church or don't follow a scholar and you only go by what you read in the Bible shows your lack so of understanding of what's life? in the Bible. My own. Okay. I'm trying to find where he says Eli Eli, what Jesus said in the cross. Because that different movie, I want to get him busted there. Uh. Sorry, what is the name of God? Or how did Jesus refer to God? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You tell me how he referred to you. You said Father, you said God. What's Watch the video. <laughs> but anyway, you know why I brought that up? Do you know why I brought it up? Because you said, what was the name? Sorry, what is the name of I did earlier finally agree. Did I deny? Watch the, the, the video. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know why I brought that he spoke? And you only go by what you do at all. I'm saying his language was Aramaic. You're not 12 years old yet. Psalm is spoke Aramaic. Why would you Shall I give you the Arabic so you can it'll jog your memory? He says, Elahi, Elahi, Lama Sabakhani. Here we go. You see this donkey, he said he's speaking Aramaic, but he was saying, Elahi, Elahi, Lama Sabakhani. You stupid idiot, you were speaking Arabic. You donkey. This is not the Aramaic. In Aramaic, it says Ili, Ili. And he is quoting, in fact, even, I mean, not even Aramaic, he was quoting the Hebrew. Ili, Ili. This is not Ilahi, Ilahi. If you are reading the Arabic translation, that will turn into Ilahi which means my God, but the word here is Ili, Ili. What Ili, Ili have to do with Allah? Stupid idiot. So he lied to the guy because he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't speak the language. He said to him, I'm going to quote for you in Aramaic, but in fact, he was reading Arabic. This is Arabic, Ilahi, Ilahi, Abdul, coward. Now, let us stop here. As long as the Muslims are speaking about Allah and what Allah means, and they are trying to make Allah appear in our book. Some Muslim, by the way, they might say to you, do you know that Arabic Christian, like Christian prince in the Middle East, they say Allah? This is because we are under the occupation for thousands of years. And in the top of that, it became part of the culture. So even somebody, he even left in the Middle East, that said, they grow up saying the word Allah. But if we go right now and we search, we see that Islamic countries, they forbid the Christians from using the word Allah because Allah have nothing to do with the God of the Christians. Uh, this is the order of the Malaysian uh, court, the government. It forbid the Christian from saying the word Allah or using the word Allah for this is not the name of their God. For this is the name of the God of Islam. It's not a word mean God. So here you see the stupidity. In one hand, the Muslims, depend where they are located. In one hand, they say to you, you should not wash, use the word Allah because the word Allah now look like for them, they are noticing a lot of people converting out of Islam into Christianity. And they said to themselves, maybe because the Christian missionary is speaking to them, saying to them the word Allah, so we should force, you know, uh, 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 force them not to use it. So they make a law saying that if you use the word Allah, you go to jail if you are a Christian. This is the name of the God of Islam only. But when the Muslims are weak and they are not the majority, they go to a different country, they try to wipe the face of their God with your butt. 
Say Allah is the same as your God. But it, oh, my, my friend, my God is a spirit. Is your God is a spirit? No. <laughs> so <laughs> what God we are talking about? My God is a spirit. Your God is not. Bingo, it's over. My God is the Father. Is your God is the Father? No. My God have a son. Is your God have a son? No. My my God, his heaven does not have virgins and belly dancers. Do your God have virgins and belly dancers? Yes. So how your God is my God? We are not speaking only about the name. I mean, everything about your God is stupid. Let us say for the sake of argument, the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they call him Jesus. Still your God is not our God. You know, changing the name will not make any difference. You see, actually in the Muslim, the Muslim Quran, if we go in the Quran right now and we search for the word Jesus, each time we saw, we search for Jesus, actually there's no Jesus in the Quran. There's no Yeshua. There is Isa. Okay, who is Isa? So can I say to you now that, uh, uh, can you say to me that Isa is Jesus? That's a lie, because this is a different name. What is Jesus? There's no, what is Yeshua? What is Yeshua? In Arabic we say Yeshua. In Hebrew they say Yeshua. In Arabic became Isa. How that happened? It's a miracle. Isa, the son of Maryam, the Mar Maryam is the, is the sister of Aaron. And her father's name is Imran. The family of Mary, her father, his name is Imran. This is why chapter 3 is called the chapter of Imran. But Imran is the same father of Moses. <laughs> Somebody saying, can you do a video together with Joe Smith? My friend, I don't like to do a video with others. You know, just give me a break. I don't know. I don't like those interview thing. With my respect to Jay Smith, I'm not speaking anything wrong about him. I don't do. I don't like them. I don't like them. I like to work alone. So please don't repeat those questions. Uh, can you do an interview with this? They invite me. Many of them they invite me to be in their show. I say no. Sorry, I don't like it. For me, I believe it's a waste of time. Anyway, so here you see the Muslims' ignorance. And Muhammad ignorance before them. Muhammad ignorant, the ignorant Muhammad, he think that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron. And her father is the same father of Moses and his name is Imran. Ali Imran mean the family of Imran. So the whole, the whole chapter is about the family of Imran, the family of Jesus. You ask the Muslims, what is the name of the father of Moses? They will say Imran. Okay, what is the name of the father of Mary? They say Imran. What is the name of the father of Aaron? They say Imran. <laughs> First of all, your God is the snake. If we go right now and search the Quran, this is the name of the God of Islam is not even Allah. You are a stupid idiot. You do not even know the name of your God. You were fighting for Allah, 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 Allah. When nowhere, nowhere in the Quran it says the name of your God is Allah. For Al Allah is Al is a word in Arabic meaning that. In the Aramaic it's mean God. Same in Hebrew in the old Hebrew. So let us make it clear. If we search right now for the word Lillah. Lilla, we will find it in this search engine, appear 113 time. 113 time. At least. All right. If we look at this, how this word is written, let us choose this verse as an example, or any verse you want. We can choose the first one in the Quran. Alhamdulillah. This is a statement Muslim keeps saying. Alhamdulillah. Okay. How the word Allah in the top is written? You will see it's different from the second word. So obviously the second word is the name of the God of Muslims. This one, let us make a line underneath of it. I hope the text is clear for you guys. I'm zooming in. Let us zoom in more. <clears throat> so if you look here between the, the two names, this is Allah. But do you notice here there is something missing in this name here? It's not the same. Let us zoom more. I will zoom maximum I can. Do you see it? 
is different, right? What is missing? Let us add a thin line so people can see what is missing. What is missing here can be found in this area here. Aleph. Aleph equal to letter A. Here you say Aleph. You see it? Let us highlight or let us make a, make a, make a line underneath of the letter so you guys can see it. You see it? Here we cannot see it. It's gone. Why? Because simply it's not part of the name. You cannot take a letter from the name if it's part of the name. But because it's not part of the name, we take it off. Okay, so now we have the, the word Lillah mentioned in the Quran 113 times at least. Let us analyze the word Lillah. In Arabic, the word Li, you ask the Muslims what Li mean? They say to you two. Alhamdulillah. Praise to Allah. Here we go. You see it? Praise be to Li. Li. This is what Li. Translated in English. Praise be to Allah. Li Allah. This is what Li. So, we type the word in the screen. Lillah. And by the way, we will be live again a few hours from now. Just get ready if you'd like to join us. Li La. I'm going to type the word as it is. And now I'm going to separate the word. Li. La. This Li here. Equal. Two. Two. The second part is the name of the God of Islam. La. And remember, the Muslims is the one who say this is a name. This is not a word mean God. All Muslims agree that this is a name. It's not a word mean God. It's, you know, it, it, it means God at the end of the day because this is the name of their God. But it's not a word mean God. It's a name. So this is the name of the God of Islam. La. You will notice with me that this is now written by the, you know, by uh, by the keyboard. But if I write it by hand, you will see something different. This is how the name of the God of Islam look like. It is a snake. It is a snake. Now a Muslim, he can say to us, oh, hold on, don't you see always the moon God? Is Allah exactly? People worship snakes for centuries and they believe in them. If we go to the Arabic dictionary and try to find what the word Allah means, you will see the following. I mean, people, they want to buy ice cream in winter. Can you believe it? Can you really believe the madness? People want to buy ice cream in winter. Yeah, this is ice cream car. Idiot. Who is going to buy? Uh, if we go to the Islamic dictionary, let us go there. This is Lisan al Arab. Describing for us and giving us the advice is how the word Allah come to be exist today. Okay, that's wonderful. How the word Allah came to exist today. What happened exactly? Anyone who speaks Arabic, he can go and read, giving you how Allah, Allah, la 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 ha 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 long story. And this is the reason, actually, by the way, I don't speak about it because you guys don't speak Arabic. But just to make the story short. Let us search for the word snake.
ولا لها الحية العظيمة عن ثعلب he said a guy his name is ثعلب he said وهي الهلال and it is the crescent moon هلال the crescent moon is the snake it's a great snake الحية العظيمة وهي الهلال a Muslim Muhammadan he will say well okay what this have to do okay hold on you Muslims you have the hilal the crescent moon in the top of every mosque you fast you practice you break fasting everything you do in your life is by the hilal And now we found that Laha, which is the name of God. Remember, they are explaining to you the name of Allah. This is not me. This is the Islamic dictionary. This is called the Sandal Arab, very well known. Anyone who speak Arabic, he can go there. This is one of the most famous Islamic, this, the tongue of the Arab. This is the dictionary name. Written by Muslims, published by Muslims support the scholars they will use it and remember too that the muslims who wrote it they try always not to insult islam remember that take take that into consideration those who wrote this they are not and they will never try to insult islam otherwise they will be killed you know you know what will happen so when they come to the conclusion that the word hilal which is coming from laha la Allah is a snake then you need to tell me how in the word the word snake became the sign of Islam and why the word snake simply look like a snake let me write again the word Allah you know or la you know this is how it is and you will see it says la it's a snake a great snake if we write the word allah how it look like a snake so your god not only he is the moon god la he is a snake who the moon god used to punish and eat and harm those who do disobey this god for this is a big big great snake is that something happened by incident no no way and you will find those you know you can go right now search for snake worshiping and you will find tons of things speaking about it and if the Muslim themselves, they come to the conclusion that the word Al-Ilah or La, or the name of their God, Allah, La, is coming from the word Hilal, which is a snake. You tell me what does that mean? I mean, it's you who's saying that. You see, if I go right now and translate this statement here into English. Hmm? Actually, let me do that. Why not? Let us use Google Translation. I will open it in Google browser and I will translate let me let us go here this is Google translation with Google uh, 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 browser so we can click a translate and we will search for the word the snake after we do translation let us click a translate translate to English Here you will notice with us something very funny and very stupid. Let us search for the word snake. Snake. Hmm. I think the, the, the translation did not come right. It says al uh, hayya So the translation could not find that this is what means snake. Let us search for the word agreed then. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, the translation coming is horrible. Okay, hold on. It should be here. Here we go, actually, it's coming, but coming as a serpent. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and goddess, Allah, this is the name of Allah. Remember, the whole, the whole here speaking about Allah. And the goddess, the great serpent, here it says Fox. Fox is the name of the guy who is saying, the scholar, which is the crescent moon. Do you see it, people? Do we see it? This is the same in Arabic. And this is the translation into English. That is your God. The great serpent. So the desperate followers of Mrs. Serpent, and by the way, we cannot say Mrs. because serpent here, Al Hayy Al Azima, which is a male, male snake, not female. That's what the dictionary is saying. It's a male snake. It's not a female snake. How that can be true? So don't don't push us to spank you harder. You have no knowledge. You are ignorant. And you know, I don't want to forget something too. If we go to the chapter, there's a chapter in the Quran. I don't know if I can post for you this link here in the chat because it contains an Arabic word. I'm not sure if it can go through. You tell me, guys, if it works. Does it work? This is the dictionary as it is. This is not our dictionary. This is not a Christian dictionary. You know, this is how it is. So, if we go right now and go to the Islamic interpretation, my friend, Angel, guys, please don't ask me to work with this guy, with those guys. I love them all. I work alone. I work alone. I'm a person who likes to work alone. I do not need anyone. They do not need me too. They are doing a great job. Please, stop repeating yourself. So, if we go and search for a chapter called Yasin or Yasin, Yasin, yeah, look, even the name of the chapter is so clear. I mean, I, I do not even need to test speak more. Yeah, sin. Yeah, is a word mean God. Some people, they say to you, they make video, they say, uh, Yahweh is coming from the, yeah, the, the Egyptian God. That's false, because Yahweh is not even a word mean God. Yahweh, Yahweh, which is I am who I am, have nothing to do even with the word God. So don't mix their hummus with shish kebab don't be stupid so yeah is a word meaning god sin is the name of their god and yeah now if you try to understand okay in the in the quran it says why they call it yeah sin because this is what the quran is saying yeah sin okay look what the muslim they say about it they don't know what it means have you ever heard a stupid book like this yeah sin god knows best what he meant by this and then every abdul he start doing his own interpretation, trying to find the solution for yeah, sin. But now we can go right now and search for the word sin, and you will find that sin is the moon god. As simple as that. God sin, yeah, sin. Yeah, sin. Why do they do that keep arabic words i don't understand what you are saying if we go right now and search for the word sin in prophet google peace upon him hmm. 
Sin. Go and search it. It's a mythology about the moon god. This is why, even in the in the English today, if somebody commits sin, they say to him, "This is sin." What sin mean? It's pagan. It's pagan. And then you will notice here with me, guys. Do you see why it says the simple for it? Bull and cursant. Do you see it? Do you see it? What the symbol of the sin, the moon god? We go back to the curse and the snake. Do you see it? Don't play with us, Abdul. You are no match. We spank your god, we smash your god, we expose your god, and you cannot fool anyone. What they do, they go after Christians who have no education. Please share my videos, learn, watch, search, study, so you can get them easy. And now you know why they don't dare to call me. Who they are? Snake followers. I'm not going to keep it longer than this. We will be back in a few hours from now. I want to say thank you again. Uh, guys, is the link I posted for you is working? Did that link work? Did that link work? Let me click in it. Well, it worked. Perfect. Save it. <laughs> the snake god. The snake followers. And if, actually, if you speak Arabic and you read it, you will die laughing at how much confused those Arab are trying to find where this word is coming from. And then we find that it is a, it's a Hilal, it's a crescent moon, and it is the name of a male snake. And then not to forget to mention that even Mecca, even Mecca is coming from the temple of al Makkah. If you search right now, let us do that. Temple of Al-Makkah. Makkah, that depends on the language you use it. Okay. You will notice that it has the same name. The reason it says Makkah, Makkah, because people of Yemen they pronounce the word, the letter, uh, Kaf, as Qaf. Oh, uh, let us find it. Here we go. This is one of the oldest temples built by the Sabian for the moon god, which Muhammad, he said in the Quran that they are going to go to heaven. Temple of Awam or, or Maharam Barkis it is a Sabian temple detected to principle of Saba. Al-Makkah, Al-Makkah, Mecca, near Marib, the temple. Okay, then it says ancient Yemen. All right, what is the god for that temple? It is the moon god. Until recently, Al Makkah was considered to be the moon god.
the moon god temple. Muhammad, he told the Muslims, if you touch the black stone and if you touch the Yemeni corner, why it's called Yemeni corner? Because simply those are rocks are taken from Al Makkah temple. So what the Arab used to do, instead of going all the way to Yemen to touch those stones who will give you healing because they are coming from the moon god, we can bring some stones from there and put them in the wall of our Kaaba. And you can't touch them here. Why you wanna to go to Hajj? We can put them for you in Las Vegas, the Arab Las Vegas. This is the Yemeni corner. And you will notice right away, let me put it for you on the screen, give me a second. You will notice right away that the colors of the stones don't match. Why? Because they brought them from different locations. They are not the same as the stones of the rest of the Kaaba. And you will notice that here there's a hole, there's an opening of the skirt of the Kaaba. Why? Because people need to touch them. What touching those stones does to you? Muhammad, he confirmed to us. He say that if you touch them, it erase your sin. Read it. One saying to Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah say touching them, erase sin. And I had him say, whoever circumambulates seven times as he's free and slave. You don't need to free slaves in Islam. You know, just do around the Kaaba seven times is done. Keep the slave in your home. So, touching them, those two corners, the corner which have the black stone, and the corner which have the stones from the al makkah temple, which is the moon god temple, erase your sin. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, we are pagans. When they are the ones who believe that touching stones erase sin. And their caliphate, he got Muhammad busted. He said to, to, he said to the Arab, uh, to the people around him, hey, I know, maybe he was talking to himself, I know that you are useless and harmless, but Muhammad, he said that the black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day. This black stone is going to have eyes, going to have tongues. So Muhammad is a liar. Is that a sahih? It's Hassan. Hassan means good. Which means it's sahih. Hassan means good. That's why you see somebody, his name is Hassan. The grandsons of Muhammad, you know, Hassan al Hussein. Hassan means good. All right? So it's good hadith. All right? So. I'm trying to keep it short, but it's impossible because too many information try to put it together. Please don't forget to download the video and uh, share it with your friends. And always remember, Jesus is amazing to the point the Muslims are trying to attach their God to the shoes of Jesus. They speak wrong against our Bible but yet they are desperate trying to put their God in our Bible. They speak wrong about our Bible, but they are desperate to make their prophet in our Bible. Even they put their prophet in the Song of Songs, which did that used to make fun of it and say it's a porn book. Suddenly, Muhammad is in the porn book. And since did that, he mentioned that, nobody's saying it's porn book no more. They are so desperate, they are bankrupt, and we are here to expose them. We will be back live on air in a few hours from now. I think in three hours from now. Join us, be with us, or four hours, I'm not sure. Check the link in the side. You will see it. And we will see you again. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I will keep the video for the coming few hours so you can download it, and then we will take it down. As you know, I don't keep videos in my channel. Thank you. God bless you. And this is your brother, humbly, Christian Prince was sharing with you the truth, and the truth will set you free. Merry Christmas. Take care.